Hello and welcome to this solo edition of the Ketonian Corner. I just don't know what to do when I don't get introduced and I get to say hello, hello. So why am I by myself, you might ask, and that's because life just catches up with you. But I thought I'd take today to do a side, I guess, uh, I don't know, special episode, let's call it that. Um, I'm going to do a book review about a book called uh, Great by Choice, and I'm going to relate it to nutritional ketosis. So Ketonian Corner is appropriate for this. And the reason why I decided to talk about this is because I just finished the book, and then there's a few key points I really enjoyed, and it really relates to the fact that uh, one of the main concepts revolving around the Great by Choice book is that uh, the concept of the 20-mile march. And just to kind of set the stage in the book, it talks about two teams that are racing to the South Pole, but a little bit simpler example uh, I've heard it referred to as basically just walking across the United States. And basically the conversation revolves around who can get there faster. The person who walks 20 miles every day, no matter what, rain, shine, sleet, snow, doesn't matter. I'm going to walk 20 miles today. Rather the other person who, you know, walks 40 miles on a beautiful day when it's good weather. And then uh, just, you know, camps out and doesn't, go at all, or maybe just a few miles on a day that's uh, rainy and or disgusting. And basically the book has a couple of key points. Uh, basically they argue that the person who can just march the 20 miles every day, no matter what, uh, kind of like you podcast every two weeks and sometimes something comes up and you just can't, you just want to push through. So uh, that's why I'm here. Solo. So there's a couple of different things or key concepts. Uh, one of them is learning to deal with uncertainty. So we've talked multiple times uh, being new to keto, how you would deal with uncertainty. Well, you might challenge yourself to make a new keto recipe every week. Uh, we talked about some of those concepts in the getting started podcast, but you know, you might uh, just have that, you know, you know, a uh, default that you always go to every Monday I do X, every Tuesday I do X and that's my default week. And then that's what it is until something changes. So learning to deal with uncertainty, one of those key points of that great by choice. Another one is the productivity paradox and basically talking uh, about working through, uh, you know, what that, what's going to happen when you have a have a problem. So a concept for keto might be your emergency meal. Okay, stuff hits the fan. I don't have time. I can't deal with this. I'm going to uh, pull my emergency meal out, whether that be, you know, bacon in your bag or or uh, pre cooked microwave, something like that, uh, bacon. Whoever, whatever it is, you've thought through that and you've decided that you're going to have that emergency go to. Another one is uh durability or, or specifics around a solid procedure. And uh, I think that kind of relates to uh, that dealing with uncertainty from a standpoint of having that process that you already f always follow. So that might be, you know, your morning coffee that tides you over to lunch so you're not hungry mid-morning. That might be your Monday crock pots because you know Mondays are bad for you and you're always rushing and you never have time to make dinner. So you just prep it on Sunday and set it so it's ready to go and just turn on on Monday. So that having that solid procedure that when the stress hits, you can be resilient and, you know, push through that. So again, going back to the March, that's the rainy, nasty day and you go ahead and push through to hit your 20 miles. So another concept is it's not luck, it's not chance, it's actually hard work. And I think that's a concept revolving around a lot of times uh, since I work at a gym, uh, I see it quite often. We This year we had somebody who actually got sixth place in a national competition. So a local gym that got sixth place on national, a lot of people might look at her and say, wow, she's lucky, she's got good genes. But me being an instructor and seeing her, I've witnessed her pushing through those bad days, wanting to skip and not coming in and saying, man, I'm tired, but I need this work workout to pick me up. I'm sure 
they have the oops meals or the the uh, different struggles, but they work through and understand that it's not that that person's lucky. It's that hard work and consistency with all the small stuff. So I guess my challenge to you is, what's your march going to look like? What's your next challenge? What are you going to think about? Uh, for me, it was throwing this together as a concept to make sure we had a podcast to release with you so we don't fall off our schedule. But for you, I want you to think about a few different things. What are you going to challenge yourself to do? Think about some performance markers. Are they clear? Can you measure it? You know, I, we, we always go to sometimes uh, talk about weight. I don't want you to think weight, but maybe you can think about something else, measurement around your waist. Who knows? And then what constraints are you going to give yourself or what are your guiding principles throughout uh, that quote unquote march? And then just validate that 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 is within your control. Obviously, it's out of your control. That's not something that you want to uh, do a march about. So once you have all that, lay together a nice proper framework that's long enough that you can manage it, but short enough that it's going to be a challenge and going to be something that you push through. So a little different episode. No, Jolene, I know. Don't, don't, uh, don't, uh, don't, don't count me off because of that. Uh, but nobody there to uh, make sure I'm, I'm holding on track either. So either way, uh, thank you for staying with us. Uh, we're going to keep podcasting. So don't, don't do uh, any, anything. Uh, don't, don't turn the channel, as they say. So keep subscribed. And uh, we'll uh, be here in another two weeks. So because that is our 20-mile march. So I hope you define yours. Thanks, and see you in the next episode.